Hey you guys, so what do you do when you need to take a vacation um, and there's nobody to help you to water your plants? Well, I've got a quick tip here that might be able to hold you over for a couple days at least if you only have a few plants. So uh, check out this video on how to do a self-watering system using simply just a, a water bottle. All right, so this is what I have here. I have a simple water bottle. Uh, all I'm gonna take is this drill bit. This is probably like a quarter inch. Not even that, actually. Lots more than that. I'm gonna drill a hole right here at the bottom. Okay, easy. I got one of these trays. You can use pretty much anything that will hold water and uh, I bought this from Ikea for like a few, bu few bucks, I don't know, two or three dollars. Okay, so let's take our water bottle, put it on our tray, doesn't matter which way. All right, so I've got the hose. All we're gonna do is just fill up this bottle. Okay, you get the idea. Check this out. So I've got a couple plants on this thing. And um, what happens here is that hole that I drilled, well, that's where the water seeps out from. But when a water level goes past the hole, it'll stop the flow of water. Whenever the water level, let's say, drops, then it'll basically self-water or fill it up to kind of that same level that would plug the hole up again. So essentially, we've got a self-watering system here that will probably last a few days. And um, you don't have to water the plants. You can go out and take a vacation. You know what I want to do? Um, I also want to do a video, a follow-up video on uh, the air layer system. Do you remember this video right here? Okay. Yeah, so I made an air layer out of a sandwich bag. And so let's uh, let's do a follow-up video on how that looks and how that works out and maybe some follow-up uh, tips along with that. Okay, so here's a Smith uh, limb that I put an air layer on. You can see all the roots coming down over here and this was a real simple method using a sandwich bag and then cutting a hole in the uh, the uh, sandwich bag and then just kind of taping like a hot dog bun over the actual branch so we're gonna cut this guy right here then we're going to put this in its own pot okay so let's cut this guy open and see what it looks like. You can see the roots here. I can tell the roots are holding this both sides of the bag together. Trying to be delicate here so that I don't end up cutting any of the the new roots. It is. OK, 
Okay, so not the best, most developed root system, but pretty good. There it is. I didn't mix this very well, but it's fine. Let's tag in it, water it, and bag it. Okay, so here's another air layer that I pulled off. This one's a Ronde de Bordeaux using that bag method, that sandwich bag method. Um, the only thing I would do differently is probably wrap the bag with some foil to uh, protect it from the sun. Otherwise, it works really well. It's super easy. Okay, that's it. This is the Smith Up Potted. And I'm just gonna take it, put it into the greenhouse. It's too cold um, now, so I wanna give it a little bit of a protection from the uh, the frost at night all right so I hope you enjoyed that and found it somewhat informative that's the air layer follow-up as well as uh, kind of a simple DIY self-watering tip when you go on vacation so uh, it's been a long summer and I, I do need a little bit of a vacation went out to the coast out in Washington and went to Forks um, as well as the beach to hang out with the family take some photos and um you know we saw this amazing tree it's called the tree of life that um the bottom of uh where the roots were completely caved in and so this tree was just hanging and doing the splits above this this cavernous area kind of like van damme almost and um I don't think this thing is going to last more than the uh, the winter here so we had to go out there take some photos before this tree completely fell um, down below uh, it's pretty amazing so check this out um, this is just the trip to forks but next month we're going to Hawaii see ya bye bye Alright, so we've made it out to our Tree of Life out in Kalawak Beach, out on the coast of Washington. There's a tree right there. Gotta take some photos of this beautiful tree. Quite amazing. Bonsai in real life. Yeah, you know, it's hanging over the cliff like that. Doesn't mean it's gonna last that long. It's very windy out here. So, gotta try to capture this. Take some good photos.